This weekend's X Factor semi-final is going to be an emotional farewell, not for the latest act to follow Honey G in being booted off the show, but for the employees at Wembley's Fountain Studios. A Sunday's results show will be its last ever broadcast. At its peak, Fountain made some of the nation's most loved shows, including on the buses and upstairs, downstairs. Now, though, it'll be turned into flats, as Simon Harris reports. <laughs> 24 hours time, their performance needs to be flawless. Wannabe boy band Five After Midnight spent much of today rehearsing for tomorrow's X Factor semi-final. It's the climax of the series, but also the end of an era, because on Sunday the lights will go out for the last time. The Wembley studios are closing to make way for homes. For the production team, it'll be a moment of sadness, and for host Dermot O'Leary, especially poignant. This is where he did his screen test. I understand there has to be housing, especially affordable housing, um, but there's a huge lack of it. But at the same time, A, this place supports jobs, so economically it's a, it's a shame it's going. Um, but B, there's a, you know, there is a sense of history. If it looked more beautiful, it's the sort of place that could be listed. Slightly shabby and unloved, it was never going to win an award for architecture. But producers love this place because it's Britain's biggest TV studio. These buildings began life as film studios, making silent movies in the 1920s. But it was the arrival of ITV in 1955 which turned the site into a powerhouse of popular entertainment. The studios gave birth to some of the best-loved TV programmes of the 60s and 70s, On the Buses, a sitcom based on the lives of bus workers. And at the other end of the social scale, upstairs, downstairs, the Downton Abbey of its day. The idea of um, a rickety old building being pulled down and some nice new homes for people being built is good. Um, maybe they'll call the block of flats upstairs, downstairs, and maybe there'll be some ghosts of Hudson and Mrs Bridges and maybe even me roaming about. <laughs> For the last 19 years, the studios have been home to talent shows, Pop Idol, Britain's Got Talent and X Factor. This year's series gave us Honey G, North London born and bred and a local favourite with the studio audience. That's a super thing about here is the audiences we get and the fact I suppose because we're in Wembley and it's you know you're in amongst a, a huge swathe of public that want to come and see the shows and they're all fans. The atmosphere in the studio is fantastic which you wouldn't get at some other studio locations I could think of. This is our last weekend here so we've got two big shows um, and we'll go out with a bang. Um, not literally, um, that happens I think in a couple of weeks time when they bring in the wrecking ball. Um, but yeah, two huge shows um, and it's going to be it's going to be a really strange feeling on Sunday night I think when we finally switch off the lights. Next year X Factor will move to a new home in Acton but at Wembley 60 years of television history is drawing to a close. Simon Harris, ITV News, Wembley. <laughs>